In these few stories, I will take you off the beaten track and over to North Common and the canal network there. So be careful if you decide to pay this area a visit. It is here where numerous people have been spooked by rather sinister paranormal experiences. Perhaps you have too. This strange experience took place in 1985 and was related to me many years ago. The gentleman wrote to me, After working an early morning shift, I returned home and at about two o'clock set out with my dog for an afternoon walk along the canal. We crossed the Iron Bridge and walked under Friar Bridge heading towards Little Worley. About 40 yards away from Pelsall Common Bridge, someone looked out at me from under the bridge and then instantly ducked back in again and out of sight. I was startled and a little alarmed as the appearance of the person seemed odd and out of date with the present time period. After the initial shock, I reasoned that it must be someone up to mischief and I prepared myself for some sort of prank. Seconds later, when I reached the bridge, there was no sign of anyone, not under the bridge, on it or anywhere near to it, or in the distance in any direction. I listened for sounds, but heard nothing. It was as if the person had vanished into thin air. The dog I had with me had a habit of standing still and looking in a certain direction if anyone was approaching. Sometimes it could be five minutes or more before someone came into sight, but the dog always knew when someone was about. Yet on this occasion she showed no such awareness as if no one was anywhere around. I abandoned the walk and returned home, telling my wife of the experience. I reasoned that it must have been someone gaming about but deep down I had an uneasy feeling, knowing I had seen something very strange. Over 20 years had passed after this event, and in January 2008, I was talking to an elderly gentleman from Pelsall who knows the canal area well. We got talking about the old ironworks and the cracker. I mentioned how, as a young boy, I had heard several ghost stories about the cracker, which I no longer remembered and asked him if he remembered any. He replied that he didn't, but said that something very strange had happened to him a couple of years ago, which he could not explain. Imagine my surprise when he then went on to relate how he had been walking towards Pelsall Common Bridge, and someone had looked at him, then quickly ducked back under the bridge, out of sight again. When he got to the bridge, there was no one to be seen anywhere, he too had his dog with him, and the dog showed no signs of being aware of anyone around. The experience left him feeling shocked. Both of us have walked that stretch of canal many times over the years, yet only once have each of us seen this unexplained sight. As a result of discovering the ghostly past experiences involving the bridge, I decided to return to the location and capture a few images of the bridge. I was a little apprehensive about returning to the bridge. I was half expecting someone to jump out on me as a prank, or even worse, see the ghostly figure as I approached the bridge. Sadly, none of the above happened. I didn't even experience the same feeling as I did a few weeks ago. It was just the same bridge as the several others that I had gone underneath to reach this one. In addition to paranormal activity surrounding Pelsall Common Bridge, I was told by John Scott that in 1953, when he was about eight years old, he and his brother were shocked to see a ghost sitting on Pelsall Works Bridge, which is at the end of Wood Lane, near the Free Trade Inn. As they walked along the canal towpath, John recalled that the figure was bright white. John then told me that it later emerged that someone had committed suicide by throwing themselves into the canal from the bridge. <laughs> 